The other new tool in Sketch and Carve is the knife tool. It's very simple to use. If I draw a stroke like this, press K and turn on knife, I'll get a cut or like this. If you only want to cut with the main part of the stroke, all you have to do is turn off loop. So this way, only this colored section of the stroke will be used. Press K again. And you can cut it from any angle or any shape you like. And uh, the other important feature of this is just like Blender's own knife tool. It has a cut through toggle. So if I, let's say, made a cut like this, press K, by default, it cuts through the entire object. If I turn off cut through instead, it will be only cutting through the front facing polygons. And uh, this might come handy, of course. So uh, if you go into edit and, uh, you know, do this kind of stuff. If I'm not mistaken, it's called the gribble effect. Like that. And the other new tool is Dice tool. Dice is used when you need more definition for your geometry, when you're using one of the deformers. And if I turn on Dice, you see a grid being projected on the main object. And uh, by default, it cuts all the way through. You can adjust the grid size, rotate it, scale in uh, one dimension or the other, and you can also translate it. The bottom row is you can control the subdivisions. Let's say if I only wanted the vertical lines, I will leave the X subdivisions on, increase or decrease them. And this is the kind of dicing effect it creates. This button here, dice main object, if you turn it off, this will only work on the new sections. Let's say you have a new shape. If I increase the grid size, you can see that it's actually cutting into it. If I turn on the main object, it will cut into everything. If I turn it off, it will only be operating on the new section, the new geometry that we just created. Now you can also center it at the cursor. So if I right click here, shift right click, click center and cursor. This is just a quick way to just focus the grid on the area that we actually want. Enjoy. Thank <laughs> you.